Namaste from Deepesh. Today we are entering volume 4 of my YouTube series, Power of Load Code or Logic. What we are going to learn today? We are going to learn how to remove members. If you have already added members on an access team on a particular record dynamically. I am Deepesh Samani, Business Applications MVP, MCT, Co-Founder and Author to multiple Dynamics 365 books. Pod 365 as usual guys, before we get into action, if you are wondering how to add it, refer to volume 3 of the same playlist. Let's get into action quickly. So, okay, let's quickly get into the action. Here we have this contact name, Deepesh Somani, where I have a department team. This is basically an access team. If you want to see how to add this particular users automatically, I've used volume three as an example. You can refer to that one. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on summary and we're gonna click this remove access. Right now it is selected. I'll just unselect and then we'll continue. All right, so right now it is unselected. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take it in and then I'm gonna trigger a save. And then we're gonna give some time to our flow to trigger in. And then we'll have a look at the department team. As you can see, this particular access team, which is department team is now cleared out. Now we are gonna see the particular flow that was triggered as a resultant and how this one did happen, yeah? So let's quickly move into the flow definition. So as you can see, the trigger here is when a contact is added or modified. So this is for added or modified scenarios. And if I go advanced, we have a remove access flag where we where we have filtered for the true condition as well. So that it only trigger for the selected column. That is the magic that triggers this particular flow. Then the next step is we are going for team membership table and we're trying to go and find all the particular team membership where we have in the name operator something like the contact ID. And this can change for the record type. So whenever access team get created, behind the scene there is a team that get created. This is something which is internal. If you explore, you will find this one out. And then you will get one particular team, which is a name having similar thing like a GUID of the primary record. We are fetching all the team memberships for this particular team. And then we are what we are doing, we are triggering remove members team with the team ID. And we are passing the system user IDs that were retrieved in that particular uh, team membership retrieval and then apply to each. So that's how this particular one works. Hope you can utilize that in your um, upcoming implementations. Power 365 as usual, guys.